cycling. You can't beat it. But I'm off to see someone who can make me go faster without me doing any training. So, Joss, how can you make me go faster? Well, when you cycle, you can feel the wind on your face. That's the force of the air pushing against you. So if we can reduce the force of the air, you'll go faster. Excellent. Thank you. I'm in a wind tunnel, so rather than me pushing through the air, the air's going to be pushing past me. Joss Darling is an expert in how air flows against solid objects. It's called aerodynamics. The giant fan is set to make the air travel at 25 miles an hour, the equivalent of a windy day. The moving air forces me backwards. The force is called air resistance or drag. This apparatus measures the drag. It is linked to Joss's computer, which shows the force against me is 45 newtons. Joss, so what's actually happening when I'm on the bike? Well, the wind that you feel is actually particles in the air hitting you. It's a bit like this. And because there are lots of particles, the force that you feel is actually quite strong. And you can see here that the air's coming along and it's walloping the front. It's having to change direction, go over the surface. The result of that is that at the end of the day, there's a force trying to stop you moving. And that's what you're feeling when you're pedaling on your bike. The particles are like the surface of the air rubbing against me. When I'm sitting upright, more of them push against me, which slows me down. Bending down means fewer particles need to change direction, so the drag is less. 25 newtons, but Joss still isn't happy. There's still quite a lot of friction, Femi, and a lot of it's in your clothes. And this model is meant to represent the surface of your clothes flapping in the wind. And you can see that as the air comes along, the bubbles get caught in the hollows. They change direction, so exert a force. You can see it on my flapping clothes. And also, the surface of your clothes are quite rough. Well, yes, actually, if I slide my hand over the cotton, I can feel that friction, and that must be what happens in the air as well. That's right, so if you had something that was much smoother and the air could slide over more easily, there'd be less friction, and hopefully you'd go more quickly. So, smooth, tight clothing is called for. Hmm, I need to get changed. Don't look! Meet the new aerodynamic low friction Femi. Go for it, Joss. This is much better. Look at that airflow. The teardrop helmet helps smooth things along. 17 newtons, just over a third of the drag I started with. 